us to this series of episodes where we are looking at the 2023 internal mathematics paper 1. So you've done the first two questions. If you haven't seen them, check on our YouTube channel. Then I just want to emphasize on my area request in the first two videos. So maybe some of you by the time you're watching this video, our app would be on Play Store. For me to publish the apps on Play Store, I'll need a minimum of about 20 people with Gmail accounts that would be used as the first test case. So I'm giving offer to the 20 to 50 people with Gmail account that I can add and create their profile so that they have access to this app, which has got quizzes for different subjects and those quizzes are exam past papers so you have the multiple choice which are quizzes so the more you practice the more you prepare for your exams because practice makes permanent the only difference between those who get six points and those who get above 30 points is practice so this app gives you the platform regardless of where you are you have opportunity to have access to massive resources and prepare all the questions of Koti answers not just a B, but detailed explanation to help you understand. And also it has got past papers, including the latest past papers. In there you, you are able to see my videos on YouTube. They are arranged in a proper and well-structured manner such that you are able to see all the content. So all I'm asking if you've got a Gmail account, please uh, be willing to tell me to allow you to be part of the first 20 like users that will be able to see how the apps works and gives me feedback before I go live. When you give me your, the, your Gmail details, you are just giving me the account, not the password, only the account. That account I'll add you, once I add you, I'll give you access to the app. Because you are having your password, I cannot do anything. All I need is the people that I can use as a sample size to demonstrate to Presto that I have got users who can try and use the app and give the feedback. That feedback will form the report that I will use to publish the app. So with that let us look at question 3. So question 3 leads simplify 2a minus 5b open bracket a minus c b close bracket plus a b. So if you look at this question what they are trying to assess you is how to deal with negatives. That's the only thing that they are assessing you in this question. So you just be careful with him. Negatives as we are multiplying. So the first thing is 2a. 2a is okay. Then we go to minus 5. So this minus 5, when we multiply it by a, we're going to get minus 5ba. Because 5b times a just becomes 5ba. Then now the trick part is this part. So we have negative 5b. That you are multiplying with negative b. So negative times negative is the positive. That's where the trick is. So the trick I'm going to emphasize on the column. So ne negative 5b times negative b. It becomes plus 5b square. That's what it becomes. Then the last remains the same. This is where a lot of people would mess up. They just say 5 times b. Then they say minus 5b square. Once you mess up there, then everything goes the other way around. So, next, what do we do? We collect the like terms. So, you notice that this one and this one, they are like. Then, we are going to have now 2a plus 5b square, then plus ab, then minus 5ba. Again, the tricky part is here. Then what we have next is 2a plus 5b square. Then ab minus 5ba. We remain with negative 4ba. That's what we remain with. So at this point, if you notice we have a 2, we have a 5. So... We cannot simplify further than this. So to write it neatly, it will just be 5b squared because b as the highest exponential, then minus 4bm, then plus 2m. 
So at this point, you can end with this one. This one is more simplified. We don't need to start factoring because we're coming again from factoring. So in this case, we cannot add any further. Once we did this point, we are good to go. Then you get this to max. So this is how you answer this question.